Cleary. It's Cleary with the initial shot. No control. Our official Ed Marion, assisted by Rich Bruno. It's Cleary in the red from Edison and plunges in the black from South Plainfield. Good counter by uh, by Plunges. Plunges is a sophomore, 16 and 9 on the season. He is one of seven South Plainfield wrestlers in this tournament final. Now, if neither wrestler can improve their position here, we'll get a stalemate and a fresh start. And there it is. Our official Ed Marion calls a stalemate. As they we're come back, I'm sorry, Stuart. As we're they come 40 back to seconds into the first period. As they come back to the center, Cleary, a freshman, uh, doing very well on the 21 and 1 on the season. He is one of two ninth graders wrestling in the finals of the GMC tonight. And that one loss was a 7 6 loss to Plunges earlier in the season. Cleary in on the single. Plunges holding on to the near ankle. Needs to cross face and spin around. Cleary holding on that leg. We could be coming up with another stalemate, and we do. Going back to the center, still no score. 43 seconds to go here in the first period at 106 pounds. The 2014 GMCT final. Cleary got to this uh, point by defeating Mark Schweifer of East Brunswick, 2 0 in the semifinals. Before that, defeating Nick Daza. He was the top seed at 106 pounds. A pretty wide open uh, weight class, too, as they were talking about. Uh, his opening round was against Devin Bongiovanni from North Brunswick. Has a couple falls, a, a major decision, and a decision coming here to the finals. Well, Plunges got here via the seventh seed with a much longer trail of knocking off mm -hmm. seeded wrestlers to get here. And it's not, it's not very common for uh, seeds that low. In this tournament, there are 13 first seeds and eight second seeds. So 21 out of the 28 wrestlers are from the top two seeds. Now the no score in the first period. Referee flips the disc. Choice is awarded to Plunges, who selects bottom. We're at 0-0. Plunges have an opportunity to score here from the defensive position. And Cleary in the red on top. Plunges beat uh, Tanner Corbett of Old Bridge. Noberto Torres of Perth Amboy and then Nicky Lombard to get to the finals and a quick escape. By Plunges, Plunges explodes right up off the whistle. So with 10 seconds into the second period, it's one nothing in favor of Plunges. Both wrestlers in a head-to-head, head-to-head tie. We're gonna go out of bounds. We're gonna get a fresh start in the middle. And so as you said, this is a one-point decision for Cleary in the dual meet, which happened back on January 8th just a month or so ago. So we're expecting a pretty close matchup here. The sophomore and the freshman here at 106 pounds. They go out of bounds with 125 to go on the clock here in period two. Quick start, not wasting any time. A single, backed out. Both wrestlers tied up, head to head tie. Shot by Cleary, not rather by, yeah, by Cleary. Being countered by Plunges as they go out of bounds. Good hold by and our official. You need to spin around, control the hips for the takedown. Cleary holding on to that leg to avoid giving up the takedown. They are allowing a lot more wrestling on the edge and sort of out of bounds this year with the new rule change, which made the out of bounds circle what we call the out-of-bound circle. Well, the apron. The, the apron is now really a part of the mat. A little, little closer to college wrestling dynamics. Coming up in 30 seconds here in the second period, both wrestlers on their feet. Plunges with a one-point lead. Cleary will have choice of position in the third period. 30 seconds to go here in the second. Edison coach Tom Cleary White. Cleary in on a single. Oh. Needs to lift, cut the corner. Needs to hip in. And he picks up two points. Cleary with the takedown. Up 2-1 in score and up, up in position. And Tom Cleary. White, the Edison coach, very impressed with his freshman wrestler. We're going to get an injury timeout. And... Uh, 
get a look at uh, Plunges going back out to the middle. He's ready to go. And here comes Cleary. Kevin McCann sending his wrestler out first. Well, look, look for Cleary to try to hold him down, try to chop box, keep him down, try to avoid giving up points. And it's Plunges with a great job escaping in five seconds to tie it at two. Are tied As a two. wrestler, you do not want to give up points near the end of the period. That is a very frustrating thing for coaches. They're just so frustrated by that. Plunges. So Cleary's going to be on bottom in a 2-2 match. you got to give Cleary a slight advantage here. Um, having choice of position, he takes bottom. Stood, goes to the switch, goes to the standing and switch. And we got Cleary. There. And it's called. We're going to get a two-point reversal. And a one-point locked hands call. The assistant referee well, helping like on that. Reversal's not given. The locked hands is. Cleary's gonna. One-point violation for plunges. He. So Plunges picks up one for the locked hands. I think he's up 3-2. He wasn't awarded the reversal. Cleary with a single, drops, controls uh, Plunges. Minute and a half to go here in regulation. And still, I'm not sure uh, what that score is, but they, they have 4-3 Cleary on top. But I'm not sure if that's correct based on what well, we're wasn't, saying. I'm not sure, 100 percent sure if the reversal was given. No. So we're gonna have to get some clarification. What we do know is we have Cleary on top. So if Cleary's on top and he started on bottom, he must have got two points for the okay. reversal. And plunges picked up one for the locked hands. Yeah, and they do have so it. Four three is correct. Four three Cleary. Here we go. A little confusing, period. but we're through it. Well, we got the best of the best here. We got the top officials, the top coaches, and the top wrestlers. So, hopefully, we're going to get it right. Now they just the, the scoreboard shows three to two, which doesn't seem right. Although they're going to have... now yeah, it looks back. like the clock is back at 146. So perhaps we they have some bad, bad, time. Time. bad time. It looks like what they're doing is giving the locked hands call, no reversal. Okay. Backing up the clock as bad time and re-wrestling at the 143 remaining period. Cleary to his feet, brought down by Plunges. They are on the edge. So Plunges gave up the one for locked hands. The reversal was not right. given. And Plunges goes back on top. Everything that happened at that point was erased and considered bad time. And uh, we're at 3 2 now in favor of Cleary, who's on bottom. Switched by Cleary, countered by Plunges. They go to their feet. Cleary trying to peel the hands down. And it almost gets locked, locked hands again. Locked hands again. They must have considered that, or Ed Marion must have considered that just a reaction and just overlapping and right off. But right in front of us, in front of our camera, there was locked hands. And now a, Plunges uh, is going to give Cleary one. That's a rule in wrestling. You can, you can optionally decide to give up one. With so just we're a, at 4-2 now in favor of Cleary. Just under a minute now here in regulation. Plunges did get a takedown in the second period, so he has that as a single goes in. A high crotch by Cleary. Switches Cleary looking double. for two more. He's in deep. He's got to keep his feet in. He steps out. So we'll get a fresh start in the middle. With 40. Cleary on top and score, 4-2. 43 seconds to go here in the regulation at 106 pounds at the GMC Finals. It is Jeff Plungis in the black uniform, trailing by two. Cleary, a freshman, staying aggressive against the sophomore opponent. And they're going to go out, and we get a restart with 24 seconds to go. Seconds. 20 seconds on our clock. Plunge is working hard. Try. He needs a takedown to tie this up. Cleary's worn for stolen as he backs out of the circle, much to the Edison crowd's dismay. 
Obviously, a lot of people not happy with that result, that call. 10 seconds. Cleary in on that leg, trying to hold on. Five seconds to go. Cleary in on a single. Plunges needs to cross face and spin around. And he that runs out of time. And it's Cleary with a 106 championship here. Our first champion is crowned of the day. And it's Robert Cleary extending his record to 22 and one. And it's the freshman with the win.